When creating a schedule, one of the things that you'll want to do is to designate the schedule type. To do so, click on the project tab and then project information. The standard calendar is the default. This is five days a week, um, Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. with an hour in, in midday that is non-working time, so standard. Um, there are two other options which are less common. 24 hours is a 724 calendar with continuous work. Night shift is five days a week, but it is 11 p.m. to 8 a.m. with an hour of non-work in the, in the middle of that. Um, so as mentioned, standard is the most common. Now, the next is to change. You may want to change the working time, make exceptions. And there's um, three different exceptions, which, um, which, we'll, uh, which we'll talk about. Let's say, for instance, first of all, we would like to make um, one of the non-working days into a working day. Let's say uh, January 21st on a Saturday. So this is going to be a, you know, project kick off. And that is going to be on January the 21st. Okay, now we'll go into details. And we're going to make that working time. Okay, uh, it's not going to recur and so on. It's just in this case, it is just once. So we'll click there. And this now is a working day. Let's say on the 23rd is a staff holiday. So we would like to make that a non-working day. In that case, we just say the day, the 23rd, and it defaults. That, that alone, we don't need to go into details. Now, the other thing we might want to do is make a recurring uh, non-working day. And uh, let's say that we would like every Friday in March to be um, non-working. So we'll just say the reason here. Then we will say March 3rd, we'll click on details. And in this case, we, we need to indicate the recurrence. So we will say every uh, Friday and it ends by March 31st. Click OK. And then to save everything, we um, click OK. Just before we do that, we will just check to see if our work is done. Yes, there are all of the uh, Fridays which are non-working. So click OK and you're done. Thanks for watching.